Hi guys, Sam here from Adreno in Sydney. Today we're going to look at making spear gun rubber. What we're going to need today is some rubber, two pieces of constrictor, a lighter, bridle, bridle tool and some silicon spray. So first up we need to measure the rubber so it's the right length for our spear gun. Today I'm going to make one, this one will suit a 110 spear gun so it's 55 centimeters and it's 16 millimeter rubber. So once we've got that sorted we need two pieces of constrictor and we're going to tie a loop in each end. This is going to help us pull the knot tight once we're finished. Like that. So that's just like an overhand knot. So now we've got our constrictor sorted. We'll take our bridle, this guy, our silicon spray. We're going to use the silicon spray to lubricate the ends of the rubber. Just a little bit. Now we take our bridle tool. Bridle. And this just sits into the little slot. I want to secure it with our fingers so it doesn't roll out. Okay, now we're going to put the bridle into the rubber. So holding the rubber quite firm and right up the next to the cut. I'm going to push this in with the bridle tool. Push it in nice and deep and then pull the bridle to the side and put your thumb on the Dyneema. Now this is going to stop it sliding back out when we pull the tool out. You should get something that looks like that. All right, now we're ready to tie our knot. This knot's called a constrictor knot. It's quite easy to tie. Uh, once you've done a couple, it'd be really easy. So first thing you want to do is basically a clove hitch. It's a crossing. Should get something that looks like that. And now we want to slide this right up close to the end of the rubber. We only need a couple of millimetres overhang. And we get something that looks like this. Make sure it's even the whole way around. Pull it in nice and tight. So to pull the knot tight, I'm going to use the bridle tool. And I've just got this punch here as well. You can use a screwdriver, um, anything you can get a good grip on. This is what our loops we made earlier are for. So I'll pull it really tight because this is what stops the bridle coming out. Okay, now we just got to repeat the same steps for the other end. Uh, this is a time, if you have a closed muzzle gun like some of the Rob Allen, so you want to make sure your rubber's in the muzzle before you tie the other end off. Almost done. Now I just need to trim and burn the ends. Getting scissors. This is where the lighter comes in. Tight. We don't want to hold the lighter on too long because obviously we don't want to burn our nut. So it's just a really quick touch each end. And there we have it. That's how to make a power band. Thanks for watching this installment of Adreno's How To videos. For more content, check out our YouTube channel. And for all the product you see in these clips, it's available online or in store in either our Sydney or Brisbane shops. Thanks. Thanks for watching this episode of Adreno's How To Videos. If you'd like to view more videos, just click here. And please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel by simply clicking on the subscribe button here. To purchase these products, stop in at one of our store locations in Brisbane or Sydney or visit us online at spearfishing.com.au.